the rishi said nobody knows about it na vid no na vijani mo there is nobody who can teach about it edas tada anusheshyat how can i teach you these things and he said i cannot teach you these things because words will not reach there mind will not reach there and your eyes will not reach there that is what you can only imagine if possible and if you have reached that level then go on imagining do sadhana make your mind as the laboratory your wisdom the instrument and also your thoughts thinking power should be really literally the thinking power is to be the methodology for research and all the sadhana is the experiment and then you will get the knowledge and that knowledge when you are getting you will realize that everywhere this consciousness is present you are also the abode of that consciousness and once you reach that level न मंद्र न तंद्र न ध्यान न शयन न यज्ञोपवीत न दंड न शिखा न कमंडल नथिंग इज रिक्वयर्ड न मंद्र मंद्र इज नाट रिक्वयर्ड न ध्यान ध्यान इज नाट रिक्वयर्ड न शयन स्लीपिंग इज नाट रिक्वयर्ड न शौच क्लीनिंग द बाडी इज नाट रिक्वयर्ड एंड न कमंडल कमंडल इज नाट रिक्वयर्ड न शिखा द टफ्ट इज नाट रिक्वयर्ड बिकॉज यू हव क्रॉस्ड दैट लेवल यू हव क्रॉस्ड दैट लेवल so nicely you know when alexander the great came to india he wanted he promised his mother when he was making a round his home back home his mother said you are great warrior i would like to request you one thing before my death i would like to drink little bit ganga water can you bring that ganga water to me then alexander promised his mother i will bring the whole country to you don't worry about ganga alone i will bring the whole country then his mother said that is the country known as bharatam you know bharatam bha bhavam ra ragam ta talam bhava raga talam is a musical country it's harmonious bhava raga talam that country is there for the last 10000 years that country has never invaded any other country but anyone who has invaded to that country those fellows have never come back and this is what alexander's mother told to alexander then also alexander said uh, still i will bring ganga water to you and he was specifically informed by his mother that that is the country where people could really realize the divine power they have seen the god directly and alexander came here asked many people have you seen god can you show me one person who has seen the god he asked many people finally there was one rishi pippalada muni pippalada muni and alexander came directly to pippalada muni he promised that i will give everything to you can you show me the god he kept quiet then he said i will give half of the countries which i conquered on the way from greek to this place then he said who wanted the looted material who wanted the uh, conquered country and other thing do you think that it will be remaining like that when you go back this is people adamasha again and again the questions came finally alexander said i shall give everything including my crown and the ornament what i have put to you you can ask from me if you can show the god then alexander towards alexander people are the money said i want only one thing then alexander became happy because this fellow want something so then people are the money said now till now the sunrise used to fall me directly but your horse is there in between now you remove that horse <laughs> so till now the sun rays used to fall me directly but now your horse is there in between remove that that is the only thing what i want <laughs> so that na mantram na tandram na dhyanam na shayanam na shaucham na yajnopavidam na dandam na shiga na kamandalu nothing is required because you have crossed that limit there stands consciousness a yogi if you are trying to become a yogi try to attain that level and swimming cannot be learned by postal tuition 
Swimming cannot be learned by reading the book. And swimming is to be learned by jumping into water. I would like to stress it. And uh, that is yoga is like that. Ayurveda is also like that. All the 642 chemicals, 642 chemicals used in modern medicine has got side effect and deleterious poisonous effect. Whereas Ayurveda, if properly used, it does not have. Or Ayurvedic medicines do not have side effect because it is integrating spirituality and science. It is integrating old knowledge and modern knowledge. It is integrating experienceable knowledge and experimentable knowledge. And you know, all these knowledge they have put, Sanskrit line, Sakchat Anubhavair Drishto Nashruto Nagurudarshita Loka Nam Upakaraya Etat Sarvam Pradarshitam If you know Sanskrit, and this would have been the fantastic line, so, Sakshat Anubhavair Drishto, they have understood all these things from their experience. Sakshat directly Anubhavair Drishto, from the experience of these are correct. Nasruto, it is not heard from somewhere. Naguru Darshita, don't think that one, it is all given by the Guru. They have done experiment from within themselves and then they have reached here. Nasruto Naguru Darshita. All these messages are given to the world. Loka Nam Upakaraya. For the benefit of the people. Not for making money. Not for becoming rich. But for the benefit of the people. Loka Nam Upakaraya. Edad Sarvam Pradarshitam. All this knowledge. They have put it. That is the reason why J.C. Bose did not patent the wireless. J.C. Bose did not patent any of his knowledge. Any of his tool any of his instrument. He said, 300 years before, my forefathers sitting on the banks of Ganga, whatever knowledge they have developed, they have never patented it. I am the follower of them and I do not want to patent that one. So when J.C. Bose, knowledge was put in Cambridge University, Marconi was sitting behind that. After 11 months, Marconi patented it. At that time, the patent officer said, I was there in Cambridge University. I know that J.C. Bose said it and you are doing plagiarism and was not allowed. Finally, Marconi came to J.C. Bose and requested the permission for his patenting it. So, Marconi got the patent. 1998, Scandinavian University decided that the inventor or the discoverer, whether he likes or not, if public knows that it belongs to that person, the patent should go to that one. In 1998 onwards, it has been proved that the wireless has been discovered by J.C. Bose. In all general knowledge book published the world over, except in India, it contains this message. So everywhere that message is. So our knowledge... That was given to everyone. Our means all those who are sitting here now. I'm, I do not mean Indian knowledge now because you are all part and parcel of it. So this is the Indian spirituality going to that last point. Every question can be answered by this method. You know why you are closing your eyes because intrinsic inherent awareness is there in the eyelid. That is why it is closing. One hour this nose is working. After one hour this nostril is working. Why this change is taking place? Awareness and consciousness is present in this one. That is why it is working. Why this? You are becoming anemic. So the body does, is not in a position to collect the iron present in the food because of the phytanic acid disease. So the body is showing you the inability to collect the iron from the food system. Why? The body's awareness, consciousness is functioning in such a way that it is demonstrating outside that you are anemic. So you are forced to take more iron. So this is the principle of Ayurveda. So Ayurveda tells you, Yoga adabhi visham tikshnam bhaved bhaishajyam uttamam bhaishajyam abhiduryuktam bhaved tikshnam visham. So anything can be utilized as a medicine provided your body can accommodate that. Even a poison can be utilized as a medicine provided your body needs that. Yoga adabhi, by proper combination. Tikshnam visham. Yoga adabhi, visham tikshnam. 
the deadly poisonous material can be used as a medicine if proper combination is done. But even though a perfect medicine, if not properly given, that will become a poison for our body. And you know, this is connected directly with the bodies, that consciousness. And also see, Sharira Manaso Yoga Paraspara Manuvrajet Adhara Adheya Bhavena Taptajya Ghadayoriva all the principle put forward by Dr. Deepak Chopra based on this line. Dr. Deepak Chopra's full theory, all new age therapy is based on this Sanskrit line from Charaka Samhita. Sharira, Manaso, Yoga, mind and body are complementary to each other. Mind and body are complementary to each other. 